This video is to show you step by step how to update the Sony Venice camera to version 2.0. When you download the firmware, there is also a version up guide in PDF form that you can read as well. You will need a power supply that can supply with DC power, for example the Sony BCL90. This is connected directly to the camera so you have a constant power source. You can also attach the V-Lock back piece that is supplied with the camera, but never as a main power source. Make sure that you've removed all media, including the SD card on the other side. Unplug the viewfinder from the camera and the BNC cables. Make sure that the AXS R7 recorder is removed from the camera before you start the updating of the camera itself. The SD card must be formatted to FAT32 and allocated 32 kilobytes. Your camera is now ready to be updated, so turn it on and hold down the menu button for 3 seconds once it's booted up. In the menu tab called Maintenance is a section called Firmware. Here you will be able to update the firmware of the camera. Once you hit the last execute button, you will have to leave the camera alone for about 30 minutes. The first phase of the update is a soft reboot and will only take a few moments. After that, you will have the version 2 update being installed on the camera. This will take much longer. Once the camera is fully updated, you will then be able to reboot the camera and attach the R7 recorder. The R7 recorder update can be installed by a USB stick on top of the camera and going back down to the maintenance section and choose firmware. Once you're version 2 on the camera, you can update the R7 through the camera. Updating the R7 is necessary if you want to record XOCN or RAW in the new aspect ratios. Once the firmware update is completed, the camera will do a quick reboot. Now it's ready for action. 